Well, howdy there, Amanda Bulbarinians, and welcome to another exciting live stream. Um, today's uh, going to be a redo of last week's uh, live stream, which was lights. And um, I got a few minutes into it, and it just was uninspiring scene. And I learned a little bit about lights, and 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 I'll apply some of that knowledge, but. I'm kind of coming into this pretty new. I've played a little bit with 2.25, and that's what we're here to celebrate today is 2.25 lights. And we're going to celebrate with this wonderful thing called um, Man the Bulber. And this right here, this fractal, is a box 4D. Oh, sorry, I'm going to get some pop-ups here. And we're going to switch to another computer altogether here in a second, but this is where we're going to start. This wonderful shape here is A box 4D add C pixel 4D, which if we pop up here into the uh, objects, we see the, that going on. And that's really small writing, and I'm hopefully I've set up the other computer for better writing. So I'm just going to real quickly save settings to clipboard, just so we don't have to start over from total beginning. But then I'm actually going to network this one into the other computer. And I mean, to this computer, this is actually not going to be our server either. So I have two computers ready to go. Let me actually go to the computer we're going to use, and hopefully we don't come across anything weird. What do I have going on in this other computer? Uh, hopefully mandible over as we left it. Yep, it sure is. That's where we left it in that other live stream. Ah, <sighs> look at that. That's Mandel Nest, and that's two lights, and that's as far as I got. Uh, Ron Lewis loves the man Mandel Nest, and I thought, well, let's put a couple of projection lights. And so I projected a couple of lights onto the scene, and I suppose we could salvage this. Um, what I'm going to do is um, save the settings to um, live stream one, live stream lighting one, and we're going to put that to bed. Let's make sure I saved that in the right place. Pagan Pro Band of Over Settings live stream. Yep. And then I'm going to load settings from clipboard and we're going to start over. Hopefully. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So let me go into images here. Uh, I like uh, 1699 and then going to uh, a quarter of that. Then it probably got to change the um, detail level 0.5 for uh, this. We, we do want to go to one. And I'm going to put auto refresh on too. There we go. That's pretty much looking like the default. All right. So we're back here at Mandible World. Uh, this is Graham's shape. Let me move that out of the way. Oh, I don't know what it is here, uh, the name, since I moved uh, machines. But if I go back over to here, this was. Uh, a box 4D, add C pixel 4D. So I just want to add, I think it's a cool shape, and I want to add some lights to it. So I turned off the background, and I just made it black, and that's all we've done so far. Literally all we've done so far. In fact, I'm going to pull up, and you'll see that my uh, text is bigger on this machine. The last live stream, I devoted, oh, a good 10 or 15 minutes to just tweaking all these texts and everything, which is the reason why I'm abandoning it, because no one needs to see me play with text until we can finally read it. But I also played with themes, which is something I never do. I've, I've literally twice, maybe in six years, I've, have I ventured into themes. Uh, but we're in the fusion, we're in normal. I've increased my font size to 12 to 12 and the icon bar, uh, the toolbar to 108, if that means anything to anybody. Uh, anything, everything else is pretty much default, uh, um, except we're probably going to turn off Z buffers just for now, just because we'll probably run some animations and we'll want to go faster. And speaking of animations, Never hurts to add a keyframe there. So now this is going to be a bigger screen, and I'm going to have less room for uh, keyframes here. So it's a trade-off between text and readability and keyframes. But um, we want lights, so we're not really doing heavy animations. Um, let's not even worry about it. But I do want to pull this shape around and look at it. Oh, and we were, by the way, setting our detail level to 1. And we probably want to set uh, connect fractal detail level with image resolution. So that way, when we later back, when we go over here to embiggen it uh, four times. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty good. We'll get the same. Oh, that was even better. I was going to say, it looks a little bit dark, though. Um, it hasn't run the um, ambient occlusion, which we're going to go over here to ray tracing. And we're going to turn that, just because it's my own personal preference. I'm not a fan of screen space much at all. But I will turn that down just in the interest of playing quickly to a quality of one. Uh, let's go two. Sometimes you get artifacts when you go with one. Um, not that artifacts matter anyway. Uh, uh, where are we moving? 
moving this target. Oh, I want to go back to small size. Oh, I can't see the buttons now because I got too big. Yeah, so it's a trade-off of having everything on the screen or being visible. That's actually a cool scene right there. I mean, a cool, yeah, cool angle. But I'm going to keep going around the shape, spin it a little bit more. Basically just spinning on the x-axis here. Maybe one more. Pop that over to here. Over to here. It would be nice if I had an instantly center fractal button. And I believe maybe reset view will do something similar. But um, we bas we're basically just on the back side of this keyframe over here. It looks very similar. So let's just go back to where we started. Um, lights. That's what we're here for. Effects. Lights. So right off the bat, we have this new ball here. These are the main lights. And we see that we have just a, to a wholly, do wholly new pane. We still have at the top, we have fill light color, which was recently added actually. We have all light intensity, all light visibility, all light size. Our pop-ups, which I turned back on in our previous tutorial. Brightness of light source in our previous live stream, excuse me. Uh, visibility, brightness of light source. He doesn't really tell you the difference between intensity and visibility, but we're not here to do a light tutorial. We're here just to play with the lights. So one thing I know I want to do is I'm just going to, let's see, so if I wanted to turn this straight on, I would position it like that, and those should go to about to zero, but just to, to ac accurately zero them out, I'm, I would just hit that and hit that. But I really actually want the light to come like that, I think. Yeah, see, that's so awesome. This is really cool. Uh, Christoph, good job on this. This, this. A lot of people have suggested this over the years, or at least thought about it. Um, that's awesome. Position and rotation relative to camera, I'm not going to mess with that. We're going to leave that way it is. I'm not going to change shadows, which don't seem to have changed materially. Uh, cast shadows, penetrating light, volumetric lights are now on this page, or is that volumetric shadows? Volumetric shadows? What are volumetric shadows? Enables volumetric visibility of the light source with calculation of shadows on it. It can be used to simulate God. Is that just turning, vol that's just turning volumetric lights on? That's just making this, oh, sorry, I see. We're making this one light a volumetric light, which we don't want to do. We don't want to turn that down. No. Meanwhile, back here at volumetric. So things have changed, okay. So volumetric light is over here with lights, which makes more sense, frankly. Good job. Clouds, fog-based iteration count, distance. So our fogs and our glows are all still here under volumetrics. Our DE multiplier for volumetric effects is still here. So that's good. So we're not here to look at the volumetric pane, but we're here to see what's not in the light pane. So back over at lights then, the, where's our three lights that we saw earlier? Oh, I need to go up further, don't I? There we go. So show wireframe preview of lights. This is something that I turned on before and it was really cool. So I want to add a new light. Boom. And I want to make it a projection light. And I want to aim its projection where, how do I do that? How do I write it over? See, I can't, unfortunately this ball, about th that thing doesn't work like the other thing does, but I can grab this. I want to move it like that. And I want to move it, oh, almost, almost got it there. Awesome. So if I turn the visibility up, There we go. See, I see the wireframe, but I didn't actually see the light itself. Uh, maybe the size is what I needed to increase. Ah, that changes the length of it out like that. So I actually change that visibility back down to eight. And this is the cool thing. I can pick this light up. I can just pick it up. Move it over to here. Come on. I thought. I thought I could pick it up and move it over to here. I've done that before, I swear. Maybe I have to place light one. Is that what I have to do? Oh, come on. I swear I did this before. Maybe if I'm on the... 
Huh. Oh, place light two. Because light one is, yeah, that's what the point. Aha, we figured it out. Okay, light one is the main lights now. So I'm used to living in a main light and then having light one, two, three, and four. Light one is the main light now, or it could be something different. But if we click on the one pane, that's my directional light. My, it's, that's the sun. So go back to this projection light, which once I'm selected on that, and then I have place light two selected, I can actually pick this light up and drag it around, which is really cool. Can I... What else can I do? Uh, I can't pick it up and like rotate it, can I? Doesn't appear to be. I can pick it up, but I can't pick it up and rotate it. Okay. But let's pick it up and put it right here, and then let's make a let's duplicate that light, and then light three. I don't know if I need to have. Well, I'm gonna slide it over to here. So this is actually recreates the in in five minutes or less the entire thirty minutes that I spent trying to figure this out earlier. So then we go to its angle. And then I just play, oops, I just keep tweaking, twisting it until it gets on the shape a little more, a little more, like that. Love that wireframe, that wireframe's really cool. So this is basically where we were before, except, except what we did, we are a projection and we can, we can project something. We can also play with the decay function. Right now it's uh, one divided by R squared. If we do it by one divided by R, we get much more light, uh, less fall off technically, or less decay. If we do it the cube rate instead of the square, we get much less. So this one right here is the cu uh, square, this is the cube, and we just had it on the one, which I'll put it back on the, the one. Boom, so that's awesome, that's a great effect. Man, Christoph has just outdone himself. I'm gonna say that a few thousand times when we get through this, I'm just warning you now, because this is, now, position and rotation relative to the camera. Ah, what happens when we do that? Yeah, last time I mo did that, it just went off screen, and I don't know what happened to it. So let me not do position and rotation relative to the screen. Let me get those lights back on here. And instead, let's keep a light three here, but let's turn... See, right now it's got a caustic map on. And this caustic map, actually, I made uh, using uh, Caustics Pro, and, and I bought the software and hadn't really used it, and, and Christoph needed a, a caustic image. And I'm like, hey, I have the software that I haven't even got to use yet. Uh, let me make you an image. And I made him some images. He picked the right one, and boom. We are now have water caustics. But uh, instead of that, let me pick another image. Where are we going to go? We're going to go to my network drive. I'm going to go to Textures. And a folder called Gradient Backgrounds. And I'm going to put something like that. I'm literally going to put that one right there. And wait for it to update. It's compiling down here. Compiling, compiling. Ooh, look at that. It's too bright, though. But that's pretty cool. Um, so what would I want to do to that horizontal opening and closing angle? That's interesting. Let me double that. Look at that. Widens it way out. Aha, uh -huh. that's interesting because uh, when I was doing the tutorial last, the live stream last, I had played with these and didn't realize what I had done and wasn't able to get out of it. And so we were just stuck with these wide shots. And I'm like, I don't know what I did. How do I get out of it? Interesting. Learning lots here. So I wonder what I'm doing now that I'll learn, you know, in a few minutes uh, that I didn't know. Um, well, we got technically three lights, you know, and, and then if the challenge is to get more than four lights then it's really the main light plus four lights gets you your five lights um that's kind of cheating i'm going to put four lights in the scene so we're going to go up to five easily uh but i got a projection let me get on this other projection and and, and that these this is silly why, why why do i have this that's not even a good waste of resources i need to have hold on place light three put that somewhere more interesting than just shining on the object itself or at least shining in this shine there and then we'll turn it around oops I'm in light two back over to here light three turn it around like that oops too much 
Yeah, it'd take a little bit to get a feel for that. And then I need to aim it down a little bit. No, I aimed it back. I want to aim it down. I'm not sure where aiming anything is. Well, that's what we wanted. Although I really want it here, and I want to aim it down some more. I don't get the whole... There we go. I, do, I guess I do get it. There we go. I just had to wait for it to update, and that was a little more intuitive. That's fine. This isn't fantastic, though, Steve. I don't know what you thought you were going to do by live streaming a bunch of lights putting put on here. Um... New light and place move light to inside this little loop. I don't know where I clicked, but inside here is where I want to click. Uh, it's a point light. Spotlight? Spotlight sounds good. I like spotlights. Let's increase the size. Okay, so this is another one of those fancy dancy spotlights. Let me move it back over to say uh, here. That's it. Why is it so hard to move lights around? Too bad this ball doesn't work. What was the whole point of this ball? Oh, that's just going to roll the lights. Which would be cool to animate. There we go. Oh, too much. I, is it really that if this direction is pointing here, that's the direction the thing will point? So if I want it to point down, that's it right there. It's as intuitive as that. Okay, so if I wanted to point at that angle, I thought, thought I had it figured out. Uh, we got spotlight, point light. We got point lights. So let me just put, that's what I want. And I want to put it right inside there. Yes. I want the size. I want the visibility to be increased. And I want the fall off to be a lot. Or I want the decay to be a little bit rather like that. And now I have to crank the size down. Good, good, good. That looks like something burning under there. And I want to move it slightly over. Well, I'm just going to grab it and move it. Yeah, just like that. That was easy enough. I haven't quite got this wireframe stuff. I don't see exactly where the wireframe's coming in at. Um, let me go back to two light. Oh, light two. What happens if I change it to a spotlight instead? And pull it back out of sight to like this. And then widen. How did I widen? How did I widen that cone options? <laughs> and now it's too bright. Uh, but if I turn the visibility way down. I want a soft light over the whole scene is what I want. I feel like I need to pull back. So let me go over here to move the camera. I'm going to hit my uh, control key and I'm scrolling back and I'm there we go. Perhaps. Oh, is it loading up all those intermediate stages between here and th there? There we go. Okay, and now pull that. I probably can't pull that back down. I have to go light two. 
Here we go. Pull it back. So if I go to light one, which is our main light, can I just turn it off by unclicking it? Yeah. There we go. Now we're cooking. So let me go back to two. And I don't know if I need visibility or size or intensity. I could never figure out the difference between visi vis visibility. That, that's what I wanted, though. I wanted to see less of it, less of the light itself, but more of its effect on the scene. I think that's the difference between intensity and visibility. Um, intensity is how bright it is. Visibility is how much you can see the actual light itself. So if you were looking at a sun. Soft angle, what does that do for us? So we increase the soft angle. I like that a lot. Um, go 20. I don't know what our values are. What are our values? It doesn't say default value is 1. So 20 seems like that would be a pretty big deal. So that's a nice soft light. And then we have color on that too. The color. We want gold, of course. We want a nice soft gold light. This is really, be I'm, I'm, I now made this the main sunlight. Really, that's a little too gold. Um, oh, I guess I want to back that off a tiny bit. It's about there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And actually, if I go back into the scene. Uh, I mean. Uh, image, I was going to say it's a little too bright, but also we can turn on high dynamic range, and there we go. Uh, turn up the saturation to normally, where's my, where's my, why, where's my slider? Why can't I move that just, that's why, because it's not big enough. Oh, yeah, 1.2, gamma. Contrast, brightness, I want to go the other way probably, I'm guessing. That was pretty darn good, I like that right there, that's good, that's exactly what I wanted. Literally, that's exactly what I wanted, okay. Um, this here is doing nothing for us, this, this, I'm sorry, I, I, it was fun to play with, but uh, I don't even remember which light you are now. Um... Three, I believe. Projection. Three is our projection light. Place light three. Pull that back even more. Did it? Why is it not updating? Projection. There's my color. Green. Uh, I, don't, I have no idea why I want to put a green light on there. How it's entirely random. Ooh, look at that. The wireframe changes to the color of the light. Is that what's happening there? That's pretty cool. And then this thing turned a little bit green, although I still can't. It shows me, I guess, which angle it's coming from. I'd be nice to control it from the ball itself, but. And then uh, we already figured out if we roll this puppy, nothing's going to happen here, but if we were doing projection and caustics, that'd be a really cool effect. Can't wait to try something with that, but we're not here to do that yet. Um. Oh, you know, I really want to get into trap lights, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to do regular lights. So what other lights? Let me... Let me... Point light. We want to duplicate that, but then point put it right there. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So that was really freaking cool. Sorry, pardon my French there. Um, th adding this light, which is too much, but it brought out this sudden thing, which this, if we change the color, could now be a rocket blast. Uh, huh, is that where we're going with that? Are we going with a rocket? That was green, wasn't it? What color would it be a better rocket blast? Yellow or red? That's too red. Darker red, lighter red, orangey red, I don't know. I uh, will go there. I love the wireframe changing color. So why is that still green is my question. Is it because... Why is that still green? Projection, that's why... Sorry, that's because the image we projected is this color. So if we had gone to a different image, 
that's what's going on here. Um, blue. Oh, I have auto refresh off. How'd that happen? That looks nothing at all like the the this picture, but that that yeah okay. So now I gotta find an image that would look like rocket exhaust. Ah. Uh, 666, nope. Just, uh, I, I don't even know what these are anymore. That, uh, Bath 4 is one I use a lot, but it's green, but we'll see what that looks like. <laughs> Success. So I want, I want, uh, wider angle, vertical, uh, vertical opening angle. And I really want it reversed, actually. I want it reversed. I think... Yep. Put it right. Ah ha 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 ha. That is sweet. And that is something I'd want to duplicate. Let me go back up here. Yay, I was so afraid that I was going to come up with just total lame stuff here. I mean, this isn't like the most awesome thing ever, but I mean, this is kind of cool. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying this. Uh, duplicate light. Duplicate light. Then we got to move the light to the other side of the planet and direct it Uh, energy yeah, oh, that doesn't look right uh, it's those opening angle okay so this is a projection so why does it I think I'm also not getting yeah yeah, um, the wrong way though. That's it. And it's too wide though. That appears to do nothing. Um, oops, I don't want position and rotation there. Why am I, I, I want to narrow, what I want to do, I want to narrow that focus I want to narrow the projection, so I neither need Yeah, that's it, horizontal and whatever opening, so delete that, or uh, have that in That's really not what I'm Maybe I want to go back to 60 on that then yeah, and change the angle. Nope. See, now this is not intuitive because I want the angle to be <laughs> there. That's not where I wanted it to be at all, but okay move that over to here actually it was better where it was well let's we'll move it back rather than trying to do undos put it more there then I like this wireframe here that tells me very much what's going on and then I need to increase its length can I do that up Size, perhaps? Yes, 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 yes. Size was it. That was it. Okay. Um, now I want to go back to that other one and focus it down a little bit. Um, yeah, why is it that I can't ever find cone options in this opening? Why are they grayed out? Yet sometimes they're not grayed out. 
point light? Is that the difference? Projection. Point light. Point light. Well, it's not five that I want to change. Did I get confused here? Six. Is it two? All right, I'm confused. Three. It's three. Can I slide these over to make three be like four instead of three? Can I, can I, can I change the position of these by dragging them? It doesn't appear as if I can. That's unfortunate because I want to group the three and the six together because those are my two similar ones. But three was the one that I wanted to change and that will let me change. It's horizontal and opening. So I want to change that in half. Like that. And then I think I want to increase its length. Yes, its size. Contour sharpness. Yeah, look at that. Now we're jamming. Contour sharpness. What does that do for me? Nothing visible that I can tell. What would be really awesome is if this one and that one were exactly uh, lined up. I'm going to print that back to the default. Angle roll Whoa. 180. And then the other one would be zero. Yeah. So, oh no, wrong one. Zero. That's right. Okay. So back to three, which its horizontal is minus 62. That's three. Six is minus 80. So if I went minus 62, is that going to give me... Uh, let's make them both minus 80. That's easier. I'm not sure what that will... Yeah, I don't think I want to do that the other way around. Yeah, minus 62, and then the other one, minus 62, and see if that's a similar. No, it's not. All right. I go to 90. That's actually more close to what I'm looking for. Um, just dial it in like that, Steve. Don't even be stupid about it. Don't roll. Don't play with it. Um, may I want that a little longer, or do I want to make that a massive womp, and then make the other one three over here, and also massive womp, full power, Scotty? Okay. I mean, I mean, this is totally, ex uh, completely extraneous, uh, superfluous, too much over the top lights. Actually, let's go see what those look like uh, tuned to a more moderate cube. Okay. Okay. I may just like one at the cube and one at the uh, R. That's interesting. Maybe squared. Let's go squared. Hmm. I feel like I need a different color on. Oh, well, let's put the main light back on. What is that going to do for our scene? Yeah, we don't need the main light anymore. We're one, two, three, four, five. We, we do have five lights. What is five doing? Oh, five is this big one here. Is that the color we want? Uh, what else can we do with it? We can turn it down so it falls off quicker. Oh, shoot. We got back up on the six. Five. It's already at one R. So that means it needs its size halved. 
Yeah. And what else can we do to this light? Um, shadows, penetrating light, or does that affect everything? Yeah, I, I think this is a different section. This p purple one here is shadows, not part of these lights. Not 100% positive, but I think that's what's going on here. So we got we got lights. Uh, is there anything else I want to add to the scene? You know I want to add trap lights. Random light options. Are we going that far? Uh, orbit trap lights. Uh, what? Let's just see what we got up here for default for orbit traps. Because, I mean... Okay, well, that didn't show me jack diddly. Um, ah. Because I have it on points. Ooh. Actually. Double the intensity. Or visibility. Yeah. I need some blue in this scene. A lot of red and yellow. How much blue? And we want those more thick. Yeah, no. We want those less soft. And then brighter. I want them really bright, but small. That's good. Maximum air deterioration. Let me go up to a three or a four. Mm, sorry, four. A little too much then on the uh, visibility. Yeah, I'm going to keep balancing between visibility and thickness here till I get where I want. Hmm. I guess we could go into blacklight territory. Blacklight, then I got to turn the thickness way down. That's not bad. I think a different shape might be better instead of points. What did line get us? Yeah, no. Circle. Can we be even thinner? Oh. Yeah, visibility doesn't affect the black light at all. That's interesting because it's not actually visible. It's negative light. Um, well, let's just real quick see what sphere looks like before we go on to cube. And Yeah. Try square and then we'll go cube. We have more things we can play with too. So far that point light. Okay. Let me bump the sh your size up, shape size up to, to spread those out a little bit. Mm. Rotate the shape a little bit. Make that even bigger. No. Smaller. No. Color doesn't matter. Ah, I could undo the uh, whole black lights and get back to a... See how that works. 
all of our settings are way off now. Uh, thickness. Put it at two. See that could be like a blasting off kind of thing to go with our other lights. Thought I changed that. That must have. What did I do? Okay. Oh, back here in the volumetric world, we gotta turn the ray tracing down to get that look. Look, multi the DE step multiplier uh, to. I totally was not paying attention. Let's see, half, 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 half. There we go. Six two five is where we want to go. There we go. That firmed it right up. It's too much. Too much. Too bright. That it's better, maybe. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep playing with the different levels of uh, iterations until I get. I kind of like that. But I like that even better. Ah. Well, right th without this level here, now that gives us more of a we're sense of motion, we're blasting off, we're moving. Um, you know, I can put a background too of a star pattern. Let's get let's get some kind of background in there. Let's go to stars. Uh, network drive clouds. Even. No, we went dark, dark, dark star fields. Gonna grab one, uh, this one here. A little too purpley. Let me sort by size. And it's about no your size. That's the one I want right there. Too bright. Oh man, I was hoping that was gonna work. That looks horrible. Oh. Different image. Well, all right. Plain black background. Plain black plain black background. It is. I cannot say that word for some reason. Um, back here at the lights, uh, orbit traps. Did we? Uh, let me see what the, these keyframes look like with all the crap we put on them now. You never know when we might be at an interesting angle or an interesting effect or see something cool like that. See, but now our lights don't match up at all with our shape. Which we could fix that by just attaching them or changing them each time uh, as we move our shape around. But we see that our lights aren't actually on our shape at all. So if I were to move those, can I move it, pick it up? I'm trying to pick it up. I'm trying to pick it up and drag it right over to here. I have auto refresh on. I don't have any idea what light I'm actually moving. I'm supposed to be moving light five, but that's not a light I want to move, actually. I want to move light six. I don't know which one is light six. I think I'm on the wrong side. Darn it. I am undo. Go back to our original, f before I mess the things up too much. 
So let me go, not place a light, but move the camera. I want to move the camera and then see where these lights are after I move. Okay, as I thought. So three, which is this one right here, three actually needs to go more like right there. Damn it. Okay. Oh. I didn't have a move keyframe three selected. Move. Place light three. Now I can pick this up and drag it right to here. Yes. Yes. Mission accomplished. Now what does that look like though in terms of my first image now? Fine, fine. I could be in a little closer to the fractal. But that looks good. Go back to this. I'm going to keep bouncing back and forth between these two keyframes to see where I'm at. Yeah, that works. And now this light over here, which we know is six, needs to be placed way over here. And the angle should not change. Yes. Now when I go back back to my first view. I don't think we have that lined up right, but it's closer, but I can just, I can just move it right to there and I think that probably fixes things. That'll work, although I really wish that light was still don't get these horizontal and vertical angles very much. Huh. Totally random. I have no idea. Okay. Just keep creeping it up. Yep. Yep. And then... Uh, pay attention to, there we go, pay attention to the wireframe. There, that wireframe looks like it's going in the direction I want it to go. This is really hard to place. I mean, it, 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 and it's not a follow the program. It's just, it's you just got to get precise in what you're doing and know what you're doing. And, and I don't. And I lost the good shot that we had. I should have done a. I should have done. Should have thrown it over to the queue. That's not too bad. What if I increase? That's pretty good. And then change the color of the trap lights. Are we at that stage? Uh, trap lights way down here. Eh. Well, just, just, they're just too red. You just overdid it on the redness. Much better. Better, but not quite. Do I really, that, I don't, that's not the color I want. All right, there's a space object flying around. What would be a cool color? Is blue what I want? It's some kind of purple? There, sh there should not be any kind of purple in this. This purple is a bad choice for this. Purple it shall be. <laughs> is that really where I'm going with that? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? So, okay, so if this is my scene then, and, and I'm not going to add a background of stars, then why don't I just add some, I mean, this is really crazy, super crazy. Why don't we just go and add random lights, and, but we have to put them on something. We can't just plunk a bunch of random lights up there unless I go number of random lights are 200. And place random light center by mouse. I want to make the center of the lights this corner right here. Why? It's just some place to put lights. Like that. 
that looks starfieldy. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, probably want to center a distribution radius. Double that. Spread those out. That's boom. Stars. Okay, we're getting all the lights on here. <laughs> all right, so we have light. What, else, what are we missing then? We got orbit trap lights going. We're using square. We're using a uh, glow. We got the shape rotation. Thickness we played with single color random lights. Well, there would be our stars if we wanted to make those all white. There's your stars. Uh, we'd probably want to decrease the size of those. Is that going to increase all the lights or just the these? That'll work. But I really want to increase the amount. And double that to 400. Are we going to come to a crash? Are we going to come to a crash? No. No, that'll be good. Good, good, good. All right. Ah, oh, but now I'm too. What I got? I I got I got to I got to uh, think about this. I got to get the lights off of the surface. So maximum distance from fractal. I think they're too close to the fractal. I think that's why I'm. Ah. All right. What I'm trying to get rid of is these overly white lights on the fractal itself. That's totally killing what we're trying to do. Distribution radius of lights. Maximum distance from fractal. That's what I wanted, actually. No? Increase the distance from the fractal, but I can't get these off the surface. I don't know what's going on there so I'm going to go mass I'm going to go whatever the default is we're going the wrong way huh Somewhere in this parameter is the scene that we seek. And I'm going to keep having it until... Unless we're going the wrong way. Alright, let's go one. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad that I can't get that working better. So how would I do that? I want to turn the maybe the visibility down. That's not really what I want to do. Um, penetrating. Penetrating. Random lights penetrating. I swear I don't remember that ever being a parameter. Um, that that that's what we wanted. That that did it. Turning penetrating of the random lights off. Yeah. See that that. I, 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 in effect, it's putting. It's like trap lights when you put trap lights on the surface. In this case, it puts random lights on the surface. We don't want that. But that's that's cool. That's cool. We got that figured out. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, I think we have our solution for now. Well, after much playing around with the randomizer and trying different shape settings and different trap light settings, random uh, random light settings, I think this is the image we're going to go with. We're going to go with this one right here. 
I've got it already queued up. Actually, I think I like the blue version better. So let's take a look at what we have in our image folder. Uh, uh, extra large icons. <laughs> sort by date. So we have this one and that one. Yeah, we don't. We definitely need the lights more on the the, the fractal surface. So is that where we're going wrong here? No, we got it. We've got it. So what we do we need though is to change trade off auto refresh. Turn on the 4K. Go to effects ray tracing. Turn that back to a default of four. Oops, wrong button. Turn that back to a default of four. Um depth of field change that to 5 set focus distance by mouse click on the surface and add current settings change the radius to just two and a half add current settings take the DOF off altogether add current settings so these three images we are going to render out here really quickly and they should all be in the 4k range yes and that's what we're going to use either with or without the DOF and we're going to see which ones look better and worse all right let's see what we got um Pictures are done. Should be the no DF one. DOF one was the last one. All right, that's the no DOF one. That looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's not Orge level. It's not even. It's not even Steve level. Honestly, I could do better than that. Uh, I mean, the, the where Steve would shine metaphorically and literally is that this would be animated, and that's what I would do with it. Um, let's look at the DOF one. There's a slight 2.5 of. Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? 2.5 focus field distance. What is that parameter? I'm sorry. I suddenly forgot what the name of that. Uh, depth of field. If we turn that back on. Radius. Radius. Sorry, man. <laughs> this is the two and a half radius. That was zero, two and a half. There's five. We didn't go ten because the ten would be too much. I don't know. Some people might like that one. Or that one. I I'm waffling between no DOF or slight DOF, and I'm on the no DOF side. I'm gonna go no DOF, and that's what we're gonna post. That's what we're done. That's that's what I'm gonna post. Oh hell, that's why we have. Uh, <laughs> that's why we'll do it twice. Well, that blue one. What does that blue one look like? I don't like. Oh, this is a smaller version. I like the blue color though. That's a different, I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, let's go back to here. Um, oh, sorry, effects, lights, scroll way down to trap lights. We know exactly which color blue though. It was that one right there. Um, am I still in 4K? And uh, I turned my depth of field back on, on, didn't I? So turn that off. Q. Add current settings, and there we we got it. That's 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 our that's our scene. And scene. All right. Thank you for joining me here on this uh, lovely day to uh, play with the lights. Um, we did not create any massive work of art. Uh, we just played with the lights. We figured some things out. Um, you got to see random lights and um, trap lights, which you didn't really need to see. Uh, that's not really, that's outside of the scope of what we're doing here. Our scope of work was really the new feature of the lights. So what did we see? We learned a lot of things, actually. We learned that there are a lot of things that have not changed. Uh, you still have basic parameters have basically not changed with fill color and all these things up there at the top. It's when you start getting down here, wireframe is new, and definitely use the wireframe. 
duplicating lights and deleting light and placing lights. I like those. Uh, these are all the different lights we have. We only got six, and we turned off light one, so we're really only using five. So we barely met the challenge qualifications. We got decay functions with their new. We got contour sharpness with their which is which is new. Um, we got projection types, which are new, point, spot, projection, directional lights. Uh, we have a little ball here, which is new. We have roll, which is new. Um, the shadows, which affect uh, the individual lights, are new. And then there's volumetric effects. Obviously, projection of texture maps is new. I mean, I, I, we could just go on here forever. I believe, but I believe that's pretty much it. The, the horizontal and opening angle, that's really clever to make these blasts of light coming out of here. Um, so let's go back to our uh, um, image and just render that out and um, post it. We're done. Thank you for joining me here today for this lights challenge. And um, do better than me on this shape, please. Um, I've, I've really just killed the shape and totally tastelessly overdid the lights. You can do much better than that, I'm sure. All right, have fun, and I'll see you next week here on another Band of Bober live stream. Thanks. Uh, this is Steve Sink, uh, formerly of Pagan Productions, but I've killed Pagan Productions, and now we're just going to be the uh, the Fractal Realms. I am the Fractal Realms still, but um, I'm also Laser Fractal. So Steve Sink of the Fractal Realms and Laser Fractals coming at you. Thank you much for joining me. See you next week.